ora, my name is Bridget Murphy, I'm with the Rangawahi and Environmental Arts Centre. We're an environmental arts centre that's set up to show people how they can grow or reuse resources. This is how we start the big girls, this will become their heads and all their limbs and it all comes from growing your own. We started the Big Girls Project back in 2009. I'd come back to New Zealand after living abroad for quite a number of years. And then in 2013, I met a lovely woman, Natalie Rojas, who's working at Tamanawa Museums. And I told her my dream was to be able to get the Big Girls out for International Women's Day. So she was really important in making that happen. And last year, I was lucky enough to get funding from UNESCO to take the project into regional. And that's how we broadened it out from Palmerston North to uh, Porirua and New town this year in 2017. Looking lovely, isn't she? I got into puppetry through protest in the UK and then worked with Rise Phoenix around schools where we'd do giant day techniques. We take a bit longer than a day to make the big girls but it's more about learning from each other and sharing cultural experiences and discussion as well as just the making process. It benefits the learners because it builds confidence, it gives them English language skills um, of process, participation and it also makes them feel proud of who they are and their background identities which is hugely important in successful resettlement. <laughs> Scissors. Hello, my name is Niang. Come from Myanmar. It's been lovely to watch the 70 year old come to life again who's been struggling in English and the pride in being able to show their own cultures again, too. Look! Send this! Hello, my name is Aisha from Syria. I am sewing a dress for wedding. Thank you, thank you, Dali. My husband has a job general in the police and care. Uh, I'll take it my children to the neighbor country, Syria and the, the United Nations came to here in 2008 because We have to put her. When you work together and you're from different cultures and everything seems a bit strange, even for me, I'm from Finland and there are so many things that are different. Sometimes it feels uh, like you can't get hold of anything, but working like this together, you find the common something. Personally, I think this kind of project is really important for a huge amount of reasons. To prove that tangata whenua welcome these women. It's really important that as women, that we all can do something together. I'm really inspired by this project and the many gifts that these women have. You look beautiful! Yay! There's a real buzz being inside a big girl. <laughs> yes, we did it! Yay! I don't think I've ever seen anything so amazingly multicultural for Women's Day anywhere, even in the UK, which is a really multicultural society. <laughs> Having done the workshops in conjunction with English language partners in Porirua, the Newtown workshops were a different kettle of fish. We had quite a different makeup of women. They were women who just come off the street because they were interested in being part of this process. Uh, well, thank you. Thank the big girls. We're really excited to have the big girls hosted here at Newtown Festival. And it's the first time they're in Wellington. I mean, Newtown's such a diverse community. It's brilliant having the big girls representing all these different cultures. High five! Yeah. activity to this corner of the main street. Well, what's more perfect than having this happen? From what I hear, the group who are working on it decide what they're going to make and what it's going to look like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning off the pro here, and all these ladies here, we're learning together. But like any human, you've got kind of an undercoat, so it's kind of putting, your, I guess, all your sinews together, your um, foundation, and then you're putting your skin colour on top of that. Uh, two levels. Girls, Aki and Miki, who are Japanese, came to the workshop and they've drawn this traditional dress and in it is the all-important bright pink flower that will go on the puppet. 
So my name is um, Maribel Marquez. I call myself a Chiwi, Chilean Kiwi, because I came out when I was two years old. I'm representing Mujeres en Aotearoa Mia, which is a Latin American women's group that get together to share our culture, to share our experiences as a migrant woman here in New Zealand. <laughs> busy women too, you know, mothers, students, teachers, all over the show. So uh, yeah, we're here to represent ourselves in Wellington, which is quite a big community of Latin American people. It's good to be at the Newtown Festival and finally it's the day that we get to parade big girl puppets and I think it's going to be really awesome. <laughs> So the big girls are really a conduit to conversation and understanding. Yes, it's a creative process, but it's when we get them out on the street and people can identify with them, or if they don't understand about them, they can ask about them, and that's when the barriers start getting broken down and the empowerment starts. They look amazing. Beautiful woman. Inside and out. And where do we go from here? I'd hope that women around the world could see this and think I can do this too. You may not have willow, but you might have wire, you might have some local resource. You can make your heads and your hands and your arms and limbs from those. Using old tubing and old fabric, you too can make a big girl representative for your streets and for your community. It was good to put smiles on kids' faces and people giving high fives and yeah, pretty awesome. Ha 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 ha!